What's up guys, this is Dalton from Coyote Classics. Uh, right now I'm on the road heading down to Arkansas City, Kansas uh, to look at a couple Mustangs uh, I found on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, the guys had them for 30 plus years. Um, great cars, one's a 69 Mustang Mach 1, uh, 390 car, S-code car. Uh, other one's a 65 Mustang Fastback. Um, so right now we're, we're on the road in Kansas in the middle of nowhere, uh, but it's, it's pretty country out here. A lot of grass, and uh, that's about it. A little different than Iowa. All right, so I'm here at Fred's place uh, to check out these two Mustangs. Uh, beautiful cars. Uh, we've got a Mustang Fastback here, 65. Uh, black, beautiful paint, great looking wheels. Interior's nice. Uh, has a five-speed Tremec in it. Beautiful car. Looks great under the hood. Um, this is actually the car that we originally inquired on and we found out he had the 69 Mach 1 S-Code car as well. Um, so we're hoping to, to take them both home today. Some pretty cars. Uh, he's had them for about 30 years since 1990. Um, this car's got a 5-speed Tremec in it too. Uh, brand new EFI tech system. Uh, but a couple great finds. All right, so we finally got both these Mustangs back here um, in the shop in Iowa. Um, we're super excited uh, to do our favorite part of the whole buying selling process. Um, going over the cars, figuring out what we want to do to them. Um, if we want to order wheels or tires or whatever we want to do um, to kind of make them our own and make them uh, that much nicer. Um, Chad's already kind of getting started um, on this black 65 Mustang, um, but we'll go around it and we'll We'll kind of get a game plan together on, on what we want our finished product to look like. So this is the black Mustang that he had. Um, as I said, it does have um, it's more of a resto mod. It's got the disc brakes, the five speed, the built 351. Really just a pretty car. It's even got disc brakes on the back. Disc brakes on the back. So let's have uh, rear disc brakes. One more are things that we're kind of wondering on on what we want to do to it um, is the Kregers. Um, they're a little different style of, of wheels. Um, personally, I don't mind them. Um, Chad, I'm not he's not a huge fan of them. Um, so we're going to try to figure out what we want to do there. Um, motor's super clean. It's missing horns, totally. Missing horns. That's so we're going to need to do that. That's an easy fix. Yeah. Um, so that's one thing that we can put on our, our work ticket. Um, as we go around, we fill out uh, basic information about the car, what we find. Um, we also fill out a separate ticket on things that uh, we need to do um, and or want to do to the car. Um, I think as far as appearance of the engine bay, yeah, that's gorgeous. Um, really, yeah, it really it is. So um, power steering, power four-wheel disc brakes. And Fred told me that this is a built 351. Um, it used to be kind of, it's like a, a racing setup, so the car's super, super wicked. It's got Elderbrock uh, aluminum heads also. Elderbrock aluminum heads. Um, but I think as far as appearance of this engine bay, I think all we need to do is, is get it over to Jason and, and have him do his thing to it. Um, Jason's our detail guy, does an excellent job. Even as a mirror finish and the black paint underneath the hood. I know, it's just a beautiful job. Um, just great paint on the car all the way around. What's your thoughts on the wheels though? Are you thinking maybe some torque thrust and raised, raised white letters will really bring it out? I mean, I think so too. Um, and I guess those Kregers are not terrible looking wheels. I mean, you can always use them on something else too. I'm just not a huge fan of this three spokes. I know. I like the wheels. I just don't like the spokes. I like the stance. It's got the lowered stance on it, kind of the low profile tire in the front. Um, the other thing I'm kind of thinking is what do you think about wheel well trim and rocker molding? I, I can see that. Add a little splash of chrome on the wheel wells and the rockers. Uh, bring out the raised white letters with the chrome torque thrust and just give this car a total different appearance. I think that'd look good. I mean, especially, you know, I, I do like that black and chrome. and It's got uh, got some good chrome on it already. Um, but I think with those brand new torque thrusts and some yeah. raised white letters, um, throw some wheel well trim on there. This is kind of and the car will be beautiful. A lot of times, um, a lot of times they have the, uh, the Mustang, you have the uh, exhaust coming out the back. Everyone copies the GT trumpet stuff. This has got kind of a neat roll pan effect with the dual exhaust comes right out, right hidden, but it's really nice. Yeah. You kind of get a peek under there. You can kind of barely see it, but it gives the, uh, gives it kind of that resto mod look, something a little different from the back. Yeah, just more sleek. 
Yeah. This car's got the full down rear seat. It's got the custom gauges. Um, what do you think about this steering wheel? I'm not a huge fan of that small steering wheel. You know, I'm not. Um, I mean, I think it, it looks fine, but it's it's definitely kind of a pain to, to drive. I mean, it feels like yeah. you're kind of driving a go-kart. Um, <laughs> I mean, what do you what do you think? I mean, you think I we should know. go with wood grain steering wheel? Like I, like the wood, should? I like the wood grain steering wheel. I like the, the aftermarket grant wheel, but on a high dollar car like this, I'm thinking more of the, uh, the factory high dollar wood grain steering wheel. Um, I think that's kind of the route I'm thinking about going. We'll kind of see and talk about that a little bit. But yeah. it's about a 16-inch wheel, 15, 16. That's a 13. I think that'll look uh, look a lot better and really give it the classy look that it's that it's already has. I agree. I, I mean, mean, the car's got a lot. The, the, the restorer of this car did an absolutely fantastic job. He built it how he would want it. But I think for the general public, I think we go ahead and uh, add a little of Coyote Classics touch on it. I agree. Um, I think you're going to, uh, you know, interest a lot more buyers. I think so. So... Um, I think we do go with the, the torque thrust, the wheel well trim. Are we going to go with chrome rocker molding as well? Yeah, I think that would look good. I think that will add to it. And uh, I think we're going to leave, the, the restorer chose to leave the Mustang and we'll out of the front grill. He chose to leave the 289, kind of leave it sleek. Leave it, yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that, I like that. So, I think we'll just add just the right amount of chrome. Now, what do you think of the seats? Um, I mean, I know... First time I've seen it online, you know, I was going to change them. The first thing I was going to do is put the factory seats in there. But after I sat down and how comfortable they are, they're nice, they recline. And with that, console is super professional in there. Yeah. So I'm going to definitely leave the seats. I agree. I mean, I agree. I think, uh, I mean, the car's not a factory car and I mean, it's never going to be. No. no. <laughs> so I think leave the seats. Um, we will do the wheel and, and uh, chrome wheels and new tires, um, some wheel well trim and, and rock and roll. Down. I think that'll be good for this car i'm just this is such a sweet car i'm really kind of hoping this car stays in the united states i know me too there's we a send... good chance it'll go overseas because it's got everything our overseas buyers want the floor with this brakes power steering uh, tons of horsepower i'd like to see this car go local and trade back for someday yeah <laughs> uh, but this this black mustang though is a great driving car um he said him and his wife took it to florida from kansas you're kidding me yeah they said no it, was, it was a two-day trip they no drove way. it all the way there um, and that's part of the reason he kind of went with the five speed is because uh, him and his wife like to go on long trips with him And that's what this car was built for. one other thing. This is a factory a code car Really how many yeah, how many uh, fastbacks do we get that are factory t-code six-cylinder cars or a c-code 289 two-barrel a lot this more than a factory a code could have been a GT car from the factory really yes Huh, so yeah, this is a beautiful car yeah. Um, But yeah, he had a couple gyms. This is the one we originally called on um, and after you see if this baby will start? Oh, yeah, of course we got to hear it Got to hear. I've never I have had the pleasure uh, thing, of driving. Check it, out but. how comfortable this thing is. So, um, another thing with Mustangs, guys, is legroom problem on Mustangs, especially in fastbacks. With these custom seats, I mean, this. There is a lot of room in that car. Wow. That sounds great. This sounds like a freaking race car. I mean, this fastback is everything that you can want. Like I said, it's a built 351. I mean, the thing's got tons of power. It's got 776 miles on the on the odometer on the gauges. On the new gauges, yeah. I mean, he said um, the paint and body was done in. in well, the he had the car for 30 years. Um, all the metal um, oh, is good. He said he, it was all factory Ford all, metal. All factory Ford metal he, he got, got in the 90s um, and replaced it. Um, I mean, all metal on this was was from Ford. Um, the paint uh, was repainted in 2014, um, and you can tell. I mean, the paint's just beautiful. And black's black's a, but a he hard color. The first time in the 90s, didn't he? Restored the first time in the 90s. That's when he did all the metal. Um, this car actually, I think he sent it with, but it was on the cover of a magazine. Really? Yeah, yeah. But he's had it for a long time. Um, the other car that he he had and um, that we kind of found he had after talking to him, and we yeah, ended up buying both of them. Advertised. This one was advertised. This one, on the other hand, um, is one that after talking with him, we learned that he had, and uh, we got down there and we, we had to buy both of them. They're great cars. Um, this one just got back um, from Kansas, so it is a little dirty, um, but 700 miles, we'll, we'll do that to a car. This is another one that, that he did kind of a resto mod um, to it, made it kind of a resto mod. It is a factory S code 390 car. It's got air. Right? Um, it has vintage air. It's got uh, fuel injection, FI tech. Um, by the way, he told me that the system is, is set up, but it needs to be finished and okay. have the thing installed. So I'm thinking we maybe send that. Um, yeah, we could send Pat. it to Pat. Yeah. He's, he's our uh, guy that's a lot better at that fuel injection stuff than we are. 
So we're gonna send that to an expert and get that fuel injection finished, uh, hooked up. But the car is drop dead gorgeous, real 390 car. It's got a 390 in it today. Um, Absolute just, show car, man. It is. Look the hood. Air conditioning, Willwood, four wheel disc brakes on this one too. I checked a little earlier. So you got four wheel disc brakes. You got power steering, you got uh, updated suspension on the front and rear. Both of these Mustangs are rock solid underneath. Yeah. Great cars. And this one also has a five speed trimming. I mean, this guy was sitting on two beautiful fastbacks and you wow. they're hard to find, period. Fastbacks are hard to find. Yeah. Um, and this guy had two of them and hey, he look, did them right. This one might even be the rim blown. It is it the is. rim blown steering wheel. It is, wheel. factory yep. rim blown steering wheel, factory yep. tack engages. Most of the interiors is shifter. original in it. Um, but I mean, he did restore some stuff. He even has the, this was painted in 2014 too. Okay. And he has the, that's what's back there is, is the paint that he uses. Um, he also has Chrome, the- Chromax paint, Chroma base. Chroma base, yeah. yeah. Yep, um, but he's got the, the paint. Um, the just interior a, looks brand new. Yeah, just another beautiful car. Uh, this one has a folding rear seat too. They didn't all have that. Even in the really? Yep. Huh. Let's so this, see if we can fire this thing up. Yeah, I want to hear this one too. Do you remember, did this one sound as good as the other one we bought them, or do you remember? Yeah, it does. It does. Not quite as good as the black one. Still got a rumble to it though. Sounding car. Uh, I pumped it a couple times. I forgot it was fuel injected. Yeah, it is fuel injected. Uh, the dash pad on this, no one did a cheap cap, man. This is a $500. I know these for experience. I've done some. They're about $450, $500 bucks for that new dash pad. Uh, yeah. Very, very professionally done. Interior console's gorgeous. Brand new shifter. It's even got the five speed shifter knob. Everything's right on it. He just, so. I mean, he did both cars the right way. Um, I mean, both are, are great cars. What do you think about this thing? I mean, it's kind of, with the four-wheel disc brakes air conditioning, it's kind of a resto mod, a real mock. He chose not to. Now, when this car was restored the first time, he did the same thing in this car. He restored this car in the 90s also. Yes. So this car was done the first time in the 90s. The first time he had this car, he had told me he had the mock stripes on it and all that kind of stuff. But when he repainted it in this color, he loved that look so much, he decided not to go ahead and follow through and put the stripes on and I mean, I think, like you said, it is a resto mod. Um, I mean, I'm kind of contemplating maybe doing the, the spoiler and the stripes and stuff, but I think the way it is, I mean, it looks sleek, it looks clean. Um, you know, I think this one, detail it, buff it out, and it's, I mean, it's already a beautiful car. Yeah. I, I kind of think, if it's my opinion, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of torn. I think in a couple months, it's winter time here in Iowa. So at Coyote Classics in about April, we always have to retake all our pictures anyway. I think if we still have this car in a month and a half, which I don't think we will, but if we do, then we'll go ahead and do the Mach 1 uh, blacked out hood, the Mach 1 striping, the Mach 1 uh, front and rear chin spoiler, and the uh, rear spoiler. I think we'll do that at that point. I, yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think as the car sits, it's beautiful. Um, I think it, it just needs a, a detail. Um, and it's such a great car. Both of them are. Um, and these are kind of, these are the raw materials. This is how they came in. Um, we fresh off this the one, we dare drive it. You want to try to take this one for a spin? Yeah. So what do you think? Might as well. Hey, Might as well. You want to grab the door for me? And yeah. Take this one for a spin. We've already drove the Mach 1. Hey, Jay, you want to get the door for us? test drive these at all when you're down there or no? um i drove the mock um at his place when i when i went down there to look at him um but this car was kind of tucked in the garage and the way the mock drove i knew this would would be uh an excellent driver as well it's not the best weather in iowa but the streets are pretty clean boy it shifts really smooth though Get a look at that console. I mean, that is nice. Set your phone and stuff in there. He even got. I mean, it's just. You know what? He did have the side down. Most of the guy wants to put them on. They look like almost like brand new too. Two plus two. The two plus two. Yeah. I mean, he did a great job with these cars. He's such a great guy too. A lot of people get that two plus two thing mixed, messed around. I've been in business for like twenty five years. Um, there's there. Anyway, so the two plus two. I'm not one hundred percent sure, bro pretty sure that uh, 
uh, that meant the back seat fold down. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm pretty positive on that. She's got some gonads, don't she? Yeah, she's skating a little bit. Um, yeah, and it's not warm at all. I mean, we just uh, just fired it up. But gas gauge seems to work. Temp gauge works. Um, that's coming up. Oil pressure is right at 50 pounds. That's what we like to see. Uh, amp gauge is working. Heater fan Heater works fan. great. Wipers. A nice car, guys. Yeah. This is how we like. The mechanics are going to go out of business. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we keep getting cars like this in that don't need anything. Another reason to get rid of the horn. Sure. This thing's quick. It handles awesome. That's the torque of it. It's torquey, yeah. I mean, it's, it doesn't miss a beat, and it's such a cold sweet car. Right now. I'm super excited to be able to get the new wheels on it, and just to see the the transformation of this car, which is already a great car, um, just to see it with a little more um, eye appeal. Yeah. It, I'm excited about it. This thing handles. It's a great car. Like I said, he drove it all the way to Florida. He said it took him two days, him and his wife. I mean, it's, it's a great car. The brakes are perfect, the steering's perfect. Um, get these few things done on it, it's ready to roll, guys. Oh, there's our radio. That even works. Let's see if this single spill of tires or not. We go hop out and take a video, should we? No. Don't no? Need that. Don't need to do that? the new cars um, I'll make another video as soon as we get these parts in um, and my hopes for this is I, I want to take you guys through the process that we go through um, on every car um, watch watch these cars go from fresh out of the, the owner's garage um, to our shop and watch the process that we go through taking these cars from um, super nice to super nice and super sexy <laughs> so uh, stay tuned for some more videos all right, so today we got the 65 Mustang um, up on the lift. Uh, Jason's gonna uh, go through and detail the undercarriage, uh, but I wanted to show you that we got the new wheels, wheel well trim, and rocker moldings all put on the car, and it looks fantastic. Um, the look of the car just totally changed um, for the better, I believe. But these torque thrusts are I mean, just super, super clean, super cocky looking um, wheels. It just really ties all that chrome goes perfect with that black. And this is before we even had a chance to detail it. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful car. Um, yesterday I sold the 69 Mach 1 already. We had that car on the website for two or three days. And that thing's already sold and out of here. Since we got it on the left, I'll kind of show you the undercarriage too. So the car's super clean underneath already. I'm um, super solid. Jason power washed it all yesterday. Um, but today we're gonna go through and, and kind of touch up that black paint because it's older. Um, so we're gonna go through and, and give the undercarriage a, a fresh coat of paint. But as you can see, it's already super clean, but um, I think it'll look good once we um, just kind of touch everything up again. But really a, a great car. And I'm expecting this one to sell just as fast as the maroon one did. The maroon Mustang we got uh, over here, we just sold it yesterday, so we're going through and doing our sold ticket on it, um, where we go through and check all the lights and fluids and things like that. Um, this is our sold ticket. Um, we're actually going to send the car out this Wednesday 
um, to finish hooking up the fuel injection system and mount that um, FI Tech computer. Uh, but just a fantastic car. Um, it's going, if I'm not mistaken, to uh, North Carolina. But this is one that I wish would have stuck around for a little while, but um, good car sell, and this was definitely a good one. We'll be back later to check on the progress of the 65. All right, so it's been about two and a half weeks since I went down to Kansas and picked up a couple beautiful Mustang Fastbacks. Uh, last week, our 69 Mach 1 that we picked up uh, sold, and that's going to North Carolina. And uh, the time's finally come to unveil what we did with this uh, 65 Fastback. Um, without further ado, we'll take a look at her. And so when the car came in, it didn't have any of the wheel well trim um, or those torque thrust wheels. And the car looked good to start, don't get me wrong. But I mean, it, it, our wheel well trim, rocker moldings and torque thrust, I mean, really gave the car a totally different look. I mean, the car is absolutely fantastic. Buff that paint out to give it just an awesome shine. I don't know if the video will pick it up, but guys, this car looks that nice and close. Absolutely gorgeous. Dalton, should we show them the steering wheel? Off yeah. So if you guys remember, we had that aftermarket uh, little go-kart steering wheel in there. Um, so we went ahead and ordered a brand new wood grain steering wheel. And it really gave that interior um, a whole mean different look too. Much more classy but just such a beautiful car. And our, our 69 Mach 1 that we bought with this car sold in two days. And uh, as good as this thing looks, it, this thing might sell just as fast. It should. All right, so today's the day. Our beautiful 65 uh, Mustang Fastback is shipping out. Uh, it's going to Beverly Hills. So if you're in that area, keep an eye out for her. You'll be seeing her up and down the boulevard. Here she is all tucked in the trailer. Getting ready to go. It's a good car, didn't last long. 